Hi everybody, it's Gordon here to talk about the Ontario Winter Guide and it's, it's winter. This is the time of year when people start making their decisions on where they're going to go and spend their winter vacations in Ontario. Now this is a bit of an update video and I wanted to fill you in a couple of points about the Ontario Winter Guide and why this publication is so uniquely positioned to benefit any of the businesses that operate during the winter time that are looking to attract uh, everybody from skiers to sledders to ice skaters to dog sledders to well just about everybody in between that loves getting outdoors in the winter and that of course includes the people that just want to go and relax in some wonderful resort enjoy what Ontario offers during the winter time now we've been asked a lot of the questions why do we publish in January when many people go yeah but everybody else publishes back in September and October exactly what we have found when we've done surveys with the tourism is that realistically, most of the publications that come out as early as September are basically all gone by now. And yet, tourism surveys have showed over the last eight years that over 60%, last year it was 64%, of all Ontarians do not make a decision where they're gonna spend their winter vacation in Ontario until after New Year's. So we position our publication to come out in January and therefore it's sort of a season sustainable publication right through the core months of winter. It benefits you as the business owner because that's when people make most of their decisions of where they're gonna spend their money uh, getting away, generally speaking, getting away from the big city and enjoying the outdoors in the rural areas of Ontario. Now, one of the advantages the ma magazine has, and remember, the Ontario Winter Guide is both a magazine, it's a mobile phone app, and it's also a digital online flipbook. So we really cover the three major ways that people find out information. Now the nice thing about the Winter Guide in both print and in digital form is in fact that it does cover a lot of local information. I mean it's for everybody who likes to go skiing, dog sledding, skating, ice fishing, anything like that including sledding. We will be including actually a little bit of snowmobile information this year but principally there's information and codes built into the publication that allow people to take their smartphone and just go click and get a whole bunch of additional information to their phone. Now. We have a couple special features. One is this mobile integration allows us to do something quite remarkable, but we also have put another offer together. If you're a business that might be interested in a half page or a full page ad, well, we have designed the magazine so that we can actually match that equivalent space with a matching article. Uh, some people call them advertorials or editorials and stuff like that. But the idea behind it is, for example, if you're interested in freestyle skiing, we can put your ad associated with that article. If it's to do with ice fishing, we have an, in fact a section about that. So that may be something to talk to myself or Pete. Uh, we're part of the team that puts together the sales and adds the advertising into the content. Contact us at the number below right here and I can get and talk to you a little bit about how we can fine tune this kind of publication to best meet your needs. Again, we're here to help to make sure people come to your location and we're using the one publication that dominates Ontario during the winter tourism season. Thanks again for your time to listen to the video. We hope this is a good way to communicate out to you a very important message that benefits your business. Thanks for your time and don't forget to please contact at the phone number or the email below. Thanks and have a great day. And winter is here. Thank you.